Should we watch this? You guys want to watch this? I'm here, dude. I'm here. I'm outside. I'm like right where Ben Shapiro's name is on this, according to whoever made this model. We'll see how accurate it is. If the scale is correct in any way, I will end up in the in the right libertarian category. I mean, that's obviously where I am. No, there is absolutely no way. He's not a fucking right libertarian. He absolutely wants rigorous checks on, on uh, social issues. If you believe that women shouldn't be able to get an abortion, you're not a fucking libertarian. Let's just jump right in. Question number one, if economic globalization is inevitable, it should primarily serve humanity rather than the interests of transnational corporations. Did Bernie Sanders write this question? What a stupid ass question, seriously. Like transnational corporations, which are responsible in, through the use of free market capitalism for the dramatic decrease of poverty throughout humanity are now opposed to humanity? So the, the very phraseology of the question is idiotic. Yes, transnational corporations routinely show us that they were solely existed, not for the profit motive, mind you, but for the benefit of mankind. Very interesting uh, take from Ben Shapiro, uh, a guy who also exists in this timeline right now when corporations are literally price gouging uh, or not, not necessarily selling their supplies to those who need it the most, but those who can pay the most for it, which is, by the way, a, a capitalist system. That's just the system working by design the way it's supposed to. So interesting take from Ben right there during a coronavirus pandemic. Since they're asking this, I'm just going to assume that their premise is wrong and, and put strongly disagree because transnational corporations have been a lot more helpful to humanity than top-down government-induced schemes. Okay, I'd always support my country whether it was right or wrong. I disagree with that. I disagree with that because what if your country is terrible? No one chooses his or her country of birth, so it's foolish to be proud of it. And I generally agree that, that it's silly to be proud of, of just where you were born. You should be proud of the country because the country... Okay, we is. agree. Ben and I agree on the second, uh, two, two second question, um, the second and third answer. They suck. Our race has many superior qualities compared with other races. Strongly disagree because I don't think that races matter in terms of inherent quality. That's, that, that's, that's silliness. Unless they're... Well, I guess Arab, he doesn't consider to be a, a, a specific race. But culturally... Blacks culturally have different kinds of music, which ends up making them more violent and uh, predisposed to um, violent behavior because of rap music. It's cultural. The difference is cultural, not racial, which is totally not a substitute. I'm totally not a pussy who's just trying to say black people are genetically different than white. Yeah, rap music is not music. Israeli Jews like to build. Palestinian Arabs don't like to build. All they want to do is bomb and also live in sewage. Real Ben Shapiro quote, by the way. A uh, military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. Strongly agree. International law is a bunch of crap written by countries that generally the have their justice. own priorities. The UN you Security Council includes Russia and devil. China. So yeah, I'm going to go with strongly disagree. Wait, so the second part of his conversation, like his reasoning is correct because international law is literally written by those who have the power to violate it. So what Ben Shapiro just basically said here is that Military action that defies international law is sometimes justified. I disagree. But his reasoning for why he does agree is because uh, the international law is a lie. Yeah, international law is literally a f***ing lie written by those who defy that same international law through military action. Ben Shapiro and I don't have the same answer to this question, but I guess our reasoning is, uh, is, is the same for agreeing or disagreeing with this uh, answer. Interesting. I think we've seen a flaw in the way that this uh, quiz is written. There is now a worrying fusion of information and entertainment. Disagree, disagree. The reason I say disagree is because there was always that fusion, we just ignored it until the last five minutes when everybody got mad because conservatives were suddenly creating news. I wonder if Ben Shapiro thinks he's entertaining. I strongly he disagree and World War I proved that that's a bunch. People are ultimately divided more by class than nationality. Wait, what? You strongly disagree with people are ultimately more divided by class and nationality? Controlling. Wait, what did he, what was his reasoning for it? People are ultimately divided more by class than nationality. Strongly disagree and World War I proved that that's a bunch of nonsense. Why does Ben Shapiro think World War I happened? Like, there is no materialist analysis to World War I? That World War I just happened because, you know, nations were just like independently uh, outside of like, any sort of other reasoning outside of, of materialist or classist reasons, 
all of these countries were just like, oh, you know what? I fucking hate those guys. Like the Germans and the Ottomans. We, we hate all those other countries. I, I don't agree with what Ben's saying. I disagree. People are definitely more divided by class than nationality. It has always been, it has always been the reality. It's also at the heart of my, my, like the way I, it's at the heart of my worldview. And the reason why I agree with that is because, I mean, look at what's going on in the world right now where multinational corporations and the wealthy have taken over each individual uh, form of governance all around the world. And the national distinction is simply a distraction that they utilize when they advocate for the exact same f***ing interest that they would advocate for, no matter what country that they're in. Beyond that, we have multinational corporations, like I said, regardless of like the oligarchs of each individual nation, we literally have multinational corporations that, that have uh, interests that transcend beyond national lines. Controlling inflation is more important than controlling unemployment. I, I agree with that because you can't actually control unemployment. You can only provide the principles necessary in order for an economy to flourish. The only way to control unemployment directly would be through top-down government control, and you could have a horrible economy with complete employment. That was called the USSR or Cuba or Venezuela until the last five minutes. Up until literally yesterday, we had an incredibly tight labor market, Ben. What happened? Why didn't wages readjust? Why were they still stagnant? Ben, what's up with that, Ben? I just don't understand why he, we're not controlling uh, unemployment here in the United States. It's very free. From each according to his ability to each according to his need is a fundamentally good idea. He definitely knew that that was, that was Marx and there is no other way. There's no other reason why he would say no to that. That's like a, that is literally a, a, a f debate question in there. They put that in there. They put that in there to be like, you know, this makes sense. Okay. You're a leftist. He knows what that, he knows where that's from. Need should not dictate either moral worth or the morality of the thing that, that you need. It's yeah, there's no way he believes that. Like a human being with empathy does not look at that question and go, no, there's actually, there's a, this is actually immoral. Uh, there is a market force that's uh, significantly more important than actually giving people things according to their need. The real answer that Ben normally gives to that, sometimes we need to do things that adults uh, need to make decisions on that aren't necessarily according to need but that's what we need to have for a functioning society and and to get like all of the beautiful uh, fruits of free market uh, unregulated capitalism that's what he that's what he would normally say i've heard him say things along that line multiple times it's a sad reflection on our society that something as basic as drinking water is now a branded consumer product strongly disagree why is that why is that bad why is that bad we should be bottling the oxygen. <laughs> oh wait, we literally do that in like India and 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 uh, in um, China. Privatize it. I'm confused. I mean, you can still get it from the tap. Like seriously, like if you don't like the bottled water, just don't drink the bottled water. What a take! What a take, dude! No, 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 no. There's no way he's that stupid. There is no way he's that stupid. There's no way. There's no way. He is doing the thing. He's doing that thing where he is purposely acting ignorant. That's a troll, right? Like, how do we get bottled water? By shutting off access to natural resources that aren't infinite. Just get tap. Well, like, where does he think tap water comes from? No, beyond the faucet. <laughs> like, we should privatize aquifers, but also just get tap water, forehead. Okay, what happens when we run out of f uh, tap water? Clean uh, resources, uh, clean, clean water supplies. What, what's going to happen then? Well, we'll privatize it. If you can't buy it, you don't, you don't exist. Whatever, who cares? You're too poor to live. Sorry, just get Mountain Dew. Uh, what if you live in Flint? Just move, forehead. What do you mean? <laughs> wow, I'm Ben Shapiro. I have an answer for everything. Land shouldn't be a, com be a commodity to be bought and sold. Strongly disagree, because what would the alternative be? That it would be all government-owned and allocated by the government? <laughs> How do we build roads? I don't know. It's all private land. It's privately owned. Go build a house on top of a highway, Ben. the spirit of justice.
he's just the reason why he's not going to come across as a libertarian is because he's not an he's not an honest libertarian if he was like actually a libertarian he would be answering these in a consistent fashion but he doesn't have consistency in his answers how you did we decide that land is privately owned you your do you know how that works or do you think that it was always privately owned. Like, do you think that land was always like we were just born into the, onto this planet? Everybody always just uh, agreed that you know this is my land and you're, and that's that's just not that's my land and that's yours. Fences are as natural as uh, the land that we stand on. It's violence, dude. Violence. Violence is is how land ownership became a thing, or at least privatized land ownership became a thing. At some point, somewhere down the line. Someone said, this is mine and not f***ing yours. And the other guy was like, wait a minute. What the fuck do you mean? We, this was ours yesterday. Hold up. What are you talking about? Nope. I put a f I closed this off. This is mine now. And the other guy was like, what do you mean? That's, that's crazy. And then the guy killed the other guy. And now we have land. It is regrettable that many personal fortunes are made by people who simply manipulate money and contribute nothing to their society. Again, the premise of that question is so ridiculous. A lot of the time when people suggest that people are just manipulating money, what they are actually doing is mitigating risk and assessing risk and providing capital and liquidity markets that allow you to- Which is gambling. Like literally gambling. What you're describing is gambling. Ben, what you're currently trying to explain with multiple big brain words is literally gambling which is manipulating money without shareholders right now. Let's say coronavirus killed all of the shareholders. Society would still be able to function with all of the laborers because the laborers are those who are bringing value. The shareholders sit around and let their pre-existing capital accumulate profit. That's it. When the CEO dies, the company can continue. But if all the workers died, the company would not exist. A company can exist without a CEO, but a company cannot exist without workers. Like Bill Gates didn't, uh, Bill Gates didn't go from $32 billion to $99 billion because he worked a lot. He went from $32 billion to 99 because his money worked for him. That's precisely why he, he when he uh, said that he was going to donate all of his wealth, and uh, no longer be the CEO the of Microsoft. Of he went from $32 billion Please to 99 still. People. Protectionism is sometimes necessary in trade. Agree, but only for national security reasons. So maybe disagree. Maybe I'll put disagree because it's generally not necessary in trade. It's only necessary for national security <laughs> reasons. It's not Andy. necessary for economic reasons. <laughs> the only social responsibility of a company should be to deliver a profit to its shareholders. Agree. I mean, agree. That's what a company is designed to do. Ay, 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 ay. I mean, from a descriptive point of view, that's what companies are doing, which is why we're at the situation that we're in. But also, from a normative standpoint, it's bad. This is a terrible idea. The rich are too highly taxed. Strongly agree. And by the way, I agreed with this when I was making 50, 60 grand a year. Yeah, oh. you were a fucking cuck back then, too. Also, I like that his, his point of view of like suffering is 50 to 60 grand a year. Yeah, complete poverty in it, you know, dying. I was dying in a state of, of poverty when I was making 50 to 60 grand a year, suffering from my success. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. But even back then, I was a cuck who assumed billionaires should be taxed less. Basis, the, the rich are paying for nearly everything in the country right now via taxation. Question the thing I don't understand here is like, why libertarians never admit that the rich are also using up far more resources. Yeah, the wealthy are t uh, paying more uh, overall in taxes. They should be paying a lot more. But it's not like we're all using the same fucking resources, dude. It's not like Elon Musk is only using the roads as much as I am. Like his factory is using those resources on top of that. So the answer is agree. But again, those with the ability to pay should have access to higher standards of medical care. By the way, Ben Shapiro hates rationing medical care. Just remember, Ben Shapiro hates the notion of rationing medical care. He hates it. That's why he doesn't want nationalized, uh, nationalized health care because, and then that way we're going to have to rational medical care. And, you know, and what he means by that is that he hates the idea that like the wealthy won't be able to cut the line and that, we will have to adjust our, our healthcare system to need 
and not necessarily uh, close down, you know, poor neighborhood hospitals because they're simply not functioning or rural hospitals because they're not profitable enough so that the wealthy can have uh, immediate velvet glove care when they need it for, you know, a pimple that they popped incorrectly when poor people are f***ing dying because they can't get hip replacements or some shit. When the wealthy people say this, this is what they're talking about. They, in, in our country, we ration healthcare just like the UK does, just like every other country does. But we ration it on the basis of wealth. We ration it from a class point of view. Governments should penalize businesses that mislead the public. Agree but it depends on what you mean by mislead the public. Obviously, you don't actually have to have the government penalize those businesses. That's fraud. You don't if they defraud the spirit. The free market will do its uh, bidding. When you find out that you've been misled by the public, you'll definitely, you'll definitely decide not to use that and you can vote with your dollar. N not a made up concept that I uh, came up with. Me and other capitalists came up with. We vote with our dollars all the time. Meanwhile, I'm still using DuPont chemicals. <laughs> Cigarettes don't kill you, by the way. They're very good. That's why I smoke a pack a day, as my doctor told me. A genuine free market requires restrictions on the ability of predator multinationals to create monopolies. I'm going to say disagree only in the sense that a natural monopoly is nearly impossible. It is very difficult to establish a natural monopoly. The typical way that monopolies are generated is because governments have approved them, is because governments have sponsored the monopolies. I the freer the, the market, the freer the Wait, but that's not even... Have. Okay, but Listen that's like literally anti-econ. Like, now he's just making shit up. Hospital on like, that's like... Classical economists don't agree with that. Night. He's literally... I mean, he's just like... I don't understand. It, it, natural barriers of entry exist. What the is he talking about dude like where are the fucking neolibs then like i i feel like someone who, who claims that they have an econ degree when they're watching uh ben shapiro has to be like well this is not real because you know well one we could look at history and what has happened and two like what about industries prone to monopolization as a consequence of natural barrier of entry like a higher barrier of entry what about industries that would not exist without uh, government infrastructure, it just like, it doesn't make sense. Oh, the free of the market, the free of the people. All right, let's see. People strongly agree. Okay, next page. The free of the market, the free of the people, strongly. Like the freer the slave market is, the, the less regulatory capture exists in the devil. slave market, for example, the freer those slaves are. Idea. You know, no regulation should for exist electric, in the market of slavery because the when slaves can compete against one another, cars, that's when they're truly free. More. Thank you, Ben Shapiro. Abortion, when the woman's life is not threatened, should always be illegal. Strongly agree. We Libertarian, by the way. For the Taxpayers should not be expected to prop up any theaters or museums that cannot survive on a commercial basis. Agree. By the way, that doesn't mean you can't have a nonprofit. Most museums are run on a nonprofit basis. Arts programs are literally communism, dude. Arts programs are literal communism. Okay, we need to not have theater unless it's a unless it's a nonprofit. K -E -K all people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. Again, the way this is phrased is so ridiculous. Well, what does that mean? Different sorts of people should keep to their own kind. Like I think that people should marry people who have similar values. But I don't know if, they, if by kind they mean ethnicity or race, in which case completely disagree. So it completely depends on what they mean by the question. There's inherent vagary to these questions. And I understand that these questions are designed to elicit responses that are quote-unquote racist so they can label you conservative for being racist. I understand that's what they're doing here. But the questions are deliberately written in vague fashion to elicit those responses. So knowing what they want, I'm going to go strongly disagree. All people have their rights, but it is better for all of us that different sorts of people should keep with their own kind is not that hard of a question dude why did you have to describe this so aggressively dude just like you didn't have to have a hard time with answering this question this is literally the easiest answer this isn't being conservative dude this is not conservative values if you say agree to this you are a racist it's not a gotcha question it's pretty fucking cut and dry why is he fucking metagaming the quiz there are no savage and civilized people there are only different cultures well Again, the way this is phrased is ridiculous. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Why does he get caught up in like the easiest ones, dude? Come on. He just blows past like four. And then the one question that's like very easy to answer. He's like, well, I don't know. As a matter of fact, I think some cultures are actually not civilized. They're a savage.
phraseology of this is, is uh, trapping. By saying peoples, what they are now implying is that if you say that there is a, an uncivilized culture, that you are labeling a people, meaning an ethnicity or a race. So the very phraseology of the question is asinine. But if we rephrase the question, this is the question I'll answer, so now it's clear. There are no savage and civilized cultures. There are only different cultures. Strongly disagree. Obviously, that's not true. There are some cultures that suck. This question doesn't, doesn't say what I wanted to say, so I'm just going to answer it anyway in the way that I wanted to say the thing I wanted to say. Libertarian, by the way. He's right. What about cartels or criminal-ridden communities? Yeah, what about them? You think that's a matter of culture? You think that's just because they have a barbaric culture? Because if we're looking at cartel culture, I would say the United States' cartel culture is far more pervasive and far more damaging than any of these other the primitive cultures and, and their cartel structures that we're talking about. We literally Maybe live in a country where the president fine, however, just absolved a war Germany, crime stabbed the 16 year old in the belly uh, 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 from any sort of responsibility whatsoever and personally made sure that his his rank was reinstituted that's some pablo escobar shit homie he killed the eight-year-old girl that guy's platoon literally were were up his gun so he couldn't actually shoot straight at the at the girls and women so you agree some cultures are bad no i don't think it's a matter of culture i think it's a matter of material conditions that guide cultural hegemony. I think it's a matter of material interests from corporations that then prop up institutions, that prop up governments, that then advocate for specific values, that advocate for specific uh, ideas or goals, rather, when it comes to war. But if we're talking about cartel culture, again, it's a consequence of not having access to materials or even having natural resources that are deemed valuable by larger countries that then come into your country and destabilize your country in an effort to take more of those natural resources. None of it's a consequence of culture. Culture doesn't exist on its own. And if you don't believe me, check out the Taliban. Those who are able to work and refuse the <laughs> Our civil liberties are being excessively curbed in the name of counter-terrorism. In the United States, I'm going to go slightly disagree, but I'm kind of torn on this. Bro, how, dude? Patriot Act, dude. What the fuck? What are you saying? How are you a libertarian, dog? What the fuck? Ben is not a libertarian, dude. I don't know why he says he is. That's the least libertarian thing I've ever heard in my life, dude. A significant advantage of a one-party state is that it avoids all the arguments that delay progress in a democratic political system. Strongly disagree. One-party states are garbage. All yeah, I agree, which is why the American political system is broken inherently. It's, broken. it's a broken system. I agree. Ben, I agree with Ben. I strongly disagree with a one-party state, except we also have one-party state. Abstract art that doesn't represent anything shouldn't be considered art at all. Agree, I mean... Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, dude. This is not art. Rap music is not art. It's not music. In criminal justice, punishment should be more important than rehabilitation. Uh, agree. Wait, why did he say yes to that? That's like one of those where you're like, you lie. Cause it's like, it's written in a way that is, it's so deliberate. I, I can't even f see it outside of, I can't see a worldview outside of the way uh, that I, I see this. It also empirically doesn't make sense either. The business person and manufacturer are more important than the writer and the artist disagree. Many times the writer and the artist are the font of ideas, but you know, the market decides all of that. I'm not going to decide who's more important and who's less important than anybody. <laughs> the market decides all of that, dude. Oh, it's so good. The market decides what kind of art is actually good. Also, at, I mean, I guess it corresponds to his previous worldview, which is that like art shouldn't make you feel things. It should just be a representation of something. Abstract art does not exist. <laughs> Multinational companies are unethically exploiting the plant genetic resources of developing countries. Oh, GMOs? No, disagree. Making peace with the establishment. I don't know why they add questions here that aren't like, I mean, this is like a factual question. I guess unethically is, is, the, is the key word here, but... 
but it, it kind of doesn't make sense because it's like it, it's true it's like the sky is blue i strongly disagree with that take it's not it's actually actually black charity is better than social security as a means of helping the genuinely disadvantaged uh agree some people are naturally unlucky. I, I, I don't know what that means. I mean, obviously, some people are born. If there was with proper some... social security, charity would not be a necessity. Charity would not exist. Charity wouldn't need to exist. A same sex couple in a stable, loving relationship should not be excluded from the possibility of child adoption. So the answer is agree, but it depends on the alternative. I have a sort of hierarchy in terms of adoption. If you're talking about a stable, loving, heterosexual couple versus a stable, loving, same-sex couple. I'll take the heterosexual couple because I don't think that mothers and fathers play the same role. If you're talking about- Why do liberals listen to this guy? It just goes to prove once again that liberals are so stupid that they don't understand what he's saying because he speaks fast and confidently and they just care about the aesthetics. Do you guys not have liberal friends who say stuff like, well, Ben Shapiro actually seems like kind of a swell guy. Like, you know, he does a- he does a pretty good job you of like describing certain issues. Justice. I mean, I don't really you like everything he says, but death. he's he's literally trying to justify this weird homophobic notion still to this day that exists in him that he's too much of a pussy to just out say outwardly. He's trying to logic his way around homophobia. That's what he's doing. About a stable, loving, same-sex couple versus a, an orphanage where kids are being ignored, then obviously I think that same-sex couples should be. Same-sex couples should only be able to have uh, access to uh, access to to these sorts of services that allow you to take care of uh, underprivileged orphan children only if there's you no other alternative. The <laughs> they're just Kippa they're just backup. Whistle. They're just backup. The homos are just there for backup when the heteros can't take care of them. Depicting consenting adults should be legal for the adult population. Um, it depends who is doing the regulation. So my general answer is disagree. I don't think that it should be legal but regulation. So my general answer I is disagree. I, I don't think that it should hat. be legal, don't but I think that a lot it's very difficult to draw regulation that is not too heavy handed in this area. I don't think you have a right to pornography though. I don't think there's an inherent right to pornography. What goes on in a private bedroom between consenting adults is no business of the state. Uh, strongly agree. Uh, no one can feel freak, freak. Bro, freak, bro. You know, you know he's doing crazy shit. Okay, confirmed Coomer, dude. Never mind. Never mind, dude. He wants to do piss play, dude. He gets pegged and then cries after sex. Yeah, my man is like, 4 p.m., Ben. Time for your dick flattening. Ben Shapiro's like, thank you. Thank you, mommy. Thank you, Dr. Mom. Are we going to do sounding today, Dr. Mommy? He thinks porn should be illegal? Bro, he wrote a whole book. Mr. Freedom of Speech, Ben Shabino, literally wrote a book about how pornography should be illegal. Y'all are y'all are new to Ben Shabino. You saw him on f Joe Rogan and you were like, this guy owns liberals. I like him. He seems he carries himself in a very confident manner. I'm kind of nerdy just like he is. So I, I see a lot of myself in him. Uh, this is great. The only question here that I'm kind of torn on is the pornography question. And that's only because it's a question of gradation. I'm really wavering between disagree and agree on on the legality for the adult free speech andy by the way free speech guy having the hardest time answering whether pornography should be made illegal dude you're gonna get bullied if you like ben shapiro it's just there's no other way around it you just you suck so bad all right let's see where i stand it says that i am right libertarian right which is true he's like one notch he's like if he answered more truthfully, he would be in the Nazi category, okay? So close to being a Nazi, dude.